us now to discuss the latest on the Clinton email scandal and all things Hillary is Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. First of all, your thoughts of her answers and the context we're dealing with now. She is uh, she is forgetting that her, on her first day in office, she had a two-hour tutorial from two FBI agents specializing in national security who explained to her her obligation in the proper care and handling of national security secrets and her obligation of recognizing those secrets, whether there's a header on them or not. And at the end of that two-hour tutorial, she signed an oath promising to obey the law and to recognize secrets on the basis of their contents, not on the basis of what's stamped on them. Democrats will say it's over. Get over it. Move past it. Nancy Pelosi said that today. There's not going to be criminal prosecution. Can we say that? I don't know that we can say that. I'm disappointed in the FBI not having gone down a lot of trails here. Destruction of evidence, obstruction uh, of justice. Even her aides lying to the FBI, some saying we didn't know about the private server, when of course they helped set the private server up. But she, in her answer last night to that veteran, and to Matt Lauer, materially misled the public. What makes a document classified is not the header. It's not not even a letter in the margin. It's the contents of the document itself. So when you hear and see that letter that Jim Comey, FBI director, sent internally defending the decision, saying it's not a cliffhanger, what do you think? I think the FBI was told to exonerate Mrs. Clinton at the outset of their investigation, and I say that for a number of reasons. No grand jury was summoned. No evidence was, tested, was presented to a grand jury. No subpoena was issued. No search warrant was issued. If you read the FBI documents that came out the weekend before Labor Day, there are five times in there in which the author of those documents said, we couldn't find, we didn't have, we hoped we could acquire. That's because their hands were tied by whatever political forces are controlling the FBI. Last thing, Jason Chaffetz, the House Oversight Committee, says he's going to hold hearings about the timeline when the emails were destroyed after they were subpoenaed by Congress. Potentially another uh, issue here, or is this Congress kind of holding hearings that don't get any it's, I commend Congressman Chaffetz, but it's too little too late. Nothing's going to happen to Mrs. Clinton in terms of a criminal prosecution before Election Day. It should have happened when Jim Comey made his statement in July. But we don't know about the foundation investigation. No, that's, that's another whole area, Brett. Judge, as always, thank you. Thank you.